Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am thrilled to be playing this game again. I love Factorio so much. Um, all right, so there are a couple of things. There's a reason I am standing by this box here. And that is because uh, we need to make a fuel loading uh, thing to happen here. So what I'm going to do is we're just going to take it from the top side here and um, yeah, just kind of get some fuel going in here. I would love to use yellow belts, but alas, we, <laughs> we don't have any <laughs> on us anyway. Oh, whoops. No, and I don't want to come back. So we're just going to go a little bit expensive on this just for the moment because of a lack of stuff. Oh, yes, of course. It's like, why is that not working? It's going the wrong way, though. Dead, dry, hairy tree. <laughs> yes. Okay, there we go. All right. So, good, good. We have things happening now. This is going well. Uh, what I should have done with this is turn the train the other direction. Um, and the reason for that is because we would like to have a parking space here. And maybe I should do that right now. Hmm. Let's just do that. Of course, the problem with this situation is that um, we're going to have to move some of this stuff. So let's just take off. This is for our protection, really. Um, we need to take off all the signals in on these train tracks right now because that will mess with if we're allowed to place the train station or not. Now, whenever you change... Oh, that was not good. Oh, there was a reason I was going to copy it. Actually, I can control Z that maybe. There it is. Okay, so let's just do a control copy there of this. And I want to place it on the other side. And we're going to try to do it as close as possible. But as you see, they misalign. And I don't understand why that is. It is always that way, though. They always misalign if you do this. Um, so, yeah. But that is just... It is just the problem that we see. Uh, so anyway, we're these are slightly misaligned. I think I'm just going to pick them all up. I guess I can pick them all up. Okay. It's a tiny waste of nanobots, but easier in other ways, I guess. These, of course, are all going to be slightly misaligned as well. But it's okay. Uh, also... If anyone had a question about why this is the way it is, there is a very specific reason for that. Also, why am I not connected? Why is the power so weird? So these guys, they always place at the far side of the belt, except for if you have one that is facing outward, it will always place on the right side of the belt. So this is actually the same side as these two. That's why we don't care about, I mean, you can do, I've seen people do this kind of thing before like that. And you can do that, but it's a waste of a splitter because it's just expensive. So this actually gets you the same result without needing to spend a splitter. Okay, so I know there's a, a thingy, but that's okay. We don't really care. Now we're going to connect the rail lines back up. And so we need to actually change this because this is not right anymore. So this is going to be the outgoing from here. Just pick up these signals. Okay, and then we'll have... Signal going out there. And I usually like to kind of encapsulate the station within signals. 
Uh, we don't have... We can kind of estimate the length of the train. Oh, we don't even need to. We can do this and say we have five cars, including the engine. One, two, three, four, five. So the next signal can go kind of here, but that one is too, too close. And this one, one, two, three, four, five. What we can actually do here is we're going to go into our settings and do interface, I think. Train visualization length, we want to do five. And that way we don't have to count. Okay, so if we, I wish it would just show though. I don't know why we have to have it moused over, but it's okay. It doesn't really matter that much. I'm glad that we have that option. It's quite nice. So this one is going to go there. Okay, and again, because we're crossing, we need to have the chain signal before the crossing. Same there, and then we have a regular signal after the crossing. There you go. Okay. Very nice. Very nice. Let's see. So now we have this situation here, which is... I'm finding also unideal. Huh. Maybe what we can do here is just put in another balancer. I think that might be the solution here. I think these are, how long are these? These are one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So if we do eight and then drag down, there we go. And we have a 32, which means we can also just do that. And that will solve all of our problems as it happens. Right, there are some situations here, which we can just fix. There we go. All right, so that means that we can use these now, both of those lines, to get these things filled. Do we have other places needing? I think what we can do is this. Let's just take this one off. Let's do this one here. And then take this one to its own thing. I don't think we need to share any longer with this. Let's just take that that way. Hooray. Okay, very nice, very nice. Okay, so this should give us enough stone, I think. I think we're, we're going to be good with stone after this. Hopefully. Hopefully. Okay. Ceramic is now getting made again. That is good. We need to get finish that water venting process that we had before. Um, okay, and we ran out of train track. That was very unexpected. I was like, wow, we actually ran out of train track. That's nuts. We shall take all of that. And now we need some belts again. So yellow belts. I'll take like four. Should be enough for any project that we have imagined. But with all that extra stone coming in, that means we're going to have a lot of uh, ceramic. I should have hooked up those things because that was just a bit of a mess. Actually, not a bit. Quite a bit. Quite quite a huge mess. Quite a bad mess. That it didn't, like, nothing got produced while we were away. But it's okay. It's not, you know, that important. Okay, that works very nicely. Boom. Wait, what is going on? Hello. It has no power. I don't understand this. There's... Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> that was me being a derp. Okay. Well then, let's see. What we want to do from here, though, is we want to take this and make this happen up here. Wow, we actually got some stuff produced. Oh, we have neodymium. Oh my gosh. Hooray. Oh, and there's some other stuff down there as well. So it wasn't a total loss. That's quite good. All right. So the easiest way to do this is go into map mode specifically and hold and then press downward. You may have to go a little bit up and down a bit. There we go. Because sometimes it goes too fast that it doesn't, that it'll have gaps. So this is what we, what we wanted. Hooray. 
Now the question is, how fast does this work? This is 0.2 seconds of crafting time. This is 0.2 seconds for one piece. Now, if we look at this, 0.2 seconds for 200 rich water. I don't know what any of that means. How fast are we producing the rich water? Not really is the answer, I guess. I know that's not a very good answer, but that's what I feel like it probably should be. Anyway, let's copy a set um, and we'll move this slightly up. And then we're going to change them. These are the neodymium, right? No. Oh, I didn't want to do that. Oh, I didn't copy all of them. Wow, that was strikingly bad from me. Of me. And these are going to be the titanium. Let's get those. There we go. Molten Titan. Okay, yep, I guess that works. And we'll make these into molten or barred titanium. Copy paste. Okay, very good, very good. And we can always move these down if we need to have the space. Whatever. So let's just put power poles between here. So these are going to stop there. Let's do that. All right, now we're going to have some titanium on the bus as well. And what I'm going to do is I don't want it to go... Well, we can collect it later. It's fine. So, oh my gosh, we can actually make things. So substations... Um, how do we want to do those? Do we want to put them in another array? Circuits, steel, copper, and red circuit. Oh, circuit, steel, copper, and titanium. Um, we have this little, oops, wrong, wrong keys. We have this here, which could have circuits. Steel, copper, no red circuits and no titanium, but we could add those quite easily. And yes, it is in the desert where we can actually add them. So I'm thinking we do that. We actually can do that. So we'll go with this one here. Maybe we'll do something funky like crossover this way or something. Yeah, I think that's the way probably. Nope, that doesn't work. Nope. Nice thing is, of course, though, with blueprints is that it's very easy to erase and very easy to just do this and come back later. Uh, hmm. Red circuits are where? We didn't just go on one side, did we? No, we didn't. Okay, we're here. We are thereabouts. So this is where we need to do stuff uh here oh my goodness cat what is going on with you there and there okay so that's going to be our mark for where we need this titanium the neodymium is this stuff right yes okay so it's the titanium that needs to go both directions This was just our previous situation. Since this is at the end of this, that's okay to... do stuff here. And this needs to be erased completely. Apparently I didn't bring enough belts either. So let's go and buy belts. We need to go to the mulligan. And then we'll come back and uh, do some more stuff. I kind of wonder if um, 
if we need to put more beacons down or things like that. I really haven't thought about it, but I'm going to take all the belts. There's, we need several at this point. Uh, also inserters. Never mind getting extra inserters. We It's always nice. I'm going to have those power poles. Let's get some more power poles too. So, are we needing anything? I guess what I could do is just grab some extra solar panels here and there and just plop them down where we can. Um, I do want to grab the beacons as well. Because those are useful. Hmm. So this is going to work. We do need to figure out where where the okay, so this is where it comes out. Okay. And we were going to do red circuits plus that stuff over here. Yes, there we are. So that is this thing, that line right here. Uh okay. Right. All right, so we need this stuff to come out here. Yeah, that's a bad spot for this thing, but it's okay. So we're just going to like... Well, it doesn't matter which way it goes, I guess. So that's going to be the X that's going to go off that direction. I think I'm just going to shorten that slightly uh, because we we don't need excess that away. All right. So here we just do this again. All right. Cool. So this is where we get our substations made. Hooray. I'm excited about this. This is kind of great. Okay, so this be uh this needs to be substations. Okay, we have a couple of situations here. We need steel. So we need a grouping like this. That's one thing with tree x-ray is like sometimes you don't see stuff because it's like literally hidden under uh, so we need a similar thing happening on this side where we need some of that stuff. Oh, this is exciting. This is pretty cool. I'm excited about this to actually have substations now. Let's copy this thingy and, uh, no, no, I was gonna, I, I, uh, uh, uh. okay, that, huh? Why did that not work as I expected it to? It did then, but I... Yeah, that was weird. Okay, so anyway, thingy less than 50. Sure, that's that's fine. 50 should be enough. Um, and when we get some, we'll go down and fix the, uh, the solar panel array because that will make our power life a lot easier. Look at how crazy this is. I think it's dipping whenever we have the beacons online, if I were to guess. Let's see. These beacon slots, they only need, they only go with speed and efficiency. So that means we don't need to put the beacons that we currently have because those are productivity. Do these take productivity? No. How about these? No, they do not. None of them do. Oh dear. Okay. Why are we not getting more rich water? Water, water, water. Hmm. That's this stuff. Oh yes, because we're not having enough of that. Now, to fix that, we needed red circuits, which we need more ceramic still. We still need more ceramic, crazily enough, even though we have so much 
I think we have a lot of production, don't we? Ceramic, hello? Oh yeah, there you are. Ah oh, yes, why are we not getting a full belt? Huh? Ah, it's because we need more trains. Okay, so the solution to this is we don't have enough throughput via trains. We need to probably pick up... Or how many train pieces do we have? Oh yeah, we have exactly enough. But I would like to grab another stack of cars just to have more possibility later. All right, let's just get rid of some of the thingy thingies. Bricks. This stuff. Uh-huh. All that stuff. Yes. Actually, those last two, the titanium and neodymium, are so valuable that I should not put them in here. <laughs> Where's the other thing? That's aluminum. Maybe that was what it was. I don't know. I'll take the aluminum as well. But yeah, this is this is a bit of a problem here. This is quite a struggle. This um kind of like ugh, what are we doing about this here? Maybe uh well, yeah, we're what what we're doing is the ceramic. We need to get more stone in. That is the solution to this situation. Oh, actually it goes in these, I think. There we go. Okay, let's go. Let's go make a new train. You know what? I should have kept those bricks so I could make a path this way. <laughs> Goodness me. That would have helped for sure. So what I want to do is we're going to look at... I think we can do trains with this stop. Let's see, go to the base. Really? Oh, how did that even happen? That must have been, that, I don't even understand that actually. I really don't understand that because it had like a stack and a half of wood. Oh, 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 too far, too far. It had a stack and a half of wood and then I put the fuel thing and, and fuel lasts a very long time in trains. So I really don't get this at all. Oh boy, oh boy, oh boy. I'm so bad at this. Ah, uh, all right. So, oh, that works. Okay, sure. We'll just do this for now. We'll just go backward. <laughs> it's fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, now we can go forward and go to the train actually being stopped. Okay, go there, please. I should have done that from the right, from the beginning. It's control click to set a waypoint uh, where your train will automatically travel and then it will stop. Okay. How is this situation even occurring? Okay, turn it off. I think it should go into manual mode after you set a waypoint, I feel. That would be, like, making sense. Now then. Um, here's some coal in this rock. How, do you have extra to spare? No, you do not. Uh, let me find some more coal <laughs> in rocks. They're always in the big ones, by the way, if you're looking. All right, train. That is just a bit wild, a bit wild. All right, train, take us back home. Where do we want to go? Let's go to here. Actually, I should stop because there's no point in going around this entire, like, area. Alright, fuel. Okay, 
get it started so that we do something. Then let's just go there. There we are. I forgot that's right. It like it waits five seconds and it goes on its new heading. Uh, because I guess the devs expected people to take regular trains doing their regular thing to temporary locations and then they go back on on the thing. I don't know that I'm a big fan of that style of doing things. In fact, I never do it. I always take a personal train. Um, but yeah, it's an interesting option, that's for sure. Okay, so we're back. We're doing things. Coal is plentiful, which is nice. Um, so, wait. What we want to do, actually, is, is go down here, which I completely forgot about why we did all this in the first place, which was to get the train to go to the, the stone station. Production statistics. No, I want trains. I can't even tell which is the train thing. Stone drop off. Okay, it's not here yet, so that's good. It's coming. I should have gotten concrete. Didn't think about it. Okay, once you're done, stop. Go into manual mode. Excellent. All right. So what I want to do is I want to actually copy the entire train... I think you need to do it via blueprint. There we go. Want to take these off. Trains. Create blueprint. I'm going to put it here. And then I'm going to get... And so what that does, I believe it has the same schedule. Yes, it does. It the blue I didn't didn't know if the blueprint would copy the schedule as well, but it does, which is extremely handy. Okay, so fuel here. Take some some fuel. Yeah, there you go. And go. Go. Yeah. I want it to stop here. Uh oh wait, 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 wait. Hold on. Uh, what I should do, like, well, the thing about it is, is, and this is something you have to think about when you have trains that go, like, if they can't unload or if they're already empty, they will not get fuel. So you kind of have to, like, minimum five seconds uh, for those. But, like, this situation, when it unloads the stone, it's going to be more than five seconds anyway. And that's enough to refuel the train. Okay, we now have stone. This looks beautiful, doesn't it? It's great. It's pretty great. I think it's great. We are getting quite a lot of these, like, lithium bits and stuff as well. How is this looking for filling the belt? Looking pretty good. Not too bad. I do feel like we could upgrade this as well. In fact, I want to upgrade this because it seems like the appetite for our factory for ceramic is intense. It is like massive. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to copy this entire thing here and just place it over here. Does look like we have a stone thingy in the way, but is that? Yeah, that is where we want to be. So we'll remove this stone thingy here, or more precisely, we'll just I guess we could fling it. <laughs> we could fling it. Is it Let's see how long we can do this thing. Uh, hmm. Let's try to place that again. Oh my goodness, we have cat chatting. 
Chatty, chatty. Oh yeah, that works. Good, good. Okay, and guess where this is going to come from? There we are. Excellent. Okay, so let's see. This stuff is... What do we need for this again? I have no idea, actually. This is very uh, interesting. This is steam. Oh, yes, right. I hope we have enough. If we don't, that's okay. We'll figure it out. We'll make more. Now this here needs to be upgraded wholesale. There we go. Oh my goodness, that did not work the way I wanted it to. I didn't want to upgrade that to blue and uh, yeah, consequently it just... Actually, this part does not need to be upgraded and I should not have upgraded it. Uh, because this this is fine being yellow, as it happens. But it's okay. It doesn't really matter that much. So you gotta take this off. Okay, there we go. And again, take this off. Oh my goodness, that cat is so meowy. My goodness. She is the meowiest. So, right. We don't want to do that. This is... Hmm. This is not working out the way I want it to. Not sure how to do this, actually. What we can do is do the first half to put on one side of the belt. I think that's what we need to do. How many do we have here? Let's check in map mode. We have one set, two set, three, four. So this is one, two, three, four. Okay, so that's exactly what we want. And then... No, of course that doesn't work. No, 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 of course not. No. Um, hmm. Fortunately, we don't have this working the way I want it to. Can we do something like this? I think so. Except we have to take these beacons out of here, I think. I guess we could do something... Uh, no, 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 that's the wrong side of the belt, of course. Okay, there we go. So the problem right now is it's backing up because the rest of the belt is not, um, yeah, it isn't thingy. So what we want to do is yellow, no, um, yellow, 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 okay, two red. I'm tired of, like, everything, like, upgrading to the wrong color right now. So we're just gonna try to upgrade the bits that matter. And this is already gonna help here. Uh, as we are taking half off for that assembly. For the, um, 
the aluminum ceramic components. Also, it doesn't matter if other parts are messy. We don't actually care. Also, let's see if we got some substations. I'm excited for that. Very excited about that. We might even start to get some of our um, uh, flying robot frames assembly working on that right now. Oh my god, the English there was terrible. Oh my gosh. What I mean to say is we might have time to start working on the flying robot assembly frames or flying robot frames assembly. Yes, that's what I meant. Okay. We're working on stuff. How's this going? Is this actually getting any stuff? Some. Some, some. So... Let's see. Let's go back down to the assembly, which is over here. Did we actually get any substations? I would be delighted to see. Maybe. Oh, we did. We have three. Three is better than zero. But yeah, we're really lacking in those materials. Mm. Well, I think we're doing the best we can. We are actually doing very well right now. Look at this. This is kind of crazy. Are these filled? No, they are not filled. I was I thought they might be filled with wire, but no, they are outputting correctly. So What is going on with this? This one has uh, they all have everything they need. Except these are running out of ceramic. All right, so let's go and get the ceramic onto the uh, red circuits uh, in a faster way. Let's do that. So that's this line here. Oh, make sure that this one didn't get forgotten. That one belt there. Hooray. And I guess we can do the same with the, um, the circuits and the plastic. Might as well just upgrade the whole thing. And maybe the other thing that we do here is put in some beacons. I feel like that could be a really important thing. I think they're two each, right? Okay, beacons. Let's go. Because these can definitely take productivity modules. Let's see. Also give these guys some ceramic. All right. Uh, same, same here. Let's see. These are effect receivers three. Good, good. Energy consumption up. Productivity plus four percent. Oh, beautiful. That is thoroughly not a lot. One, two. So we can do that here. And again, one. There's four there. That's four. Nice. So let me put beacons on the hop bar. I think I think it's probably worth it. If possible, you don't really want to. Oh, actually, they're they're different size than vanilla. I was gonna say something there, but it's not really relevant actually. Uh. There we go. Okay, so that means we should have a lot more productivity of these things. It does look like we are... Oh, jeez. I didn't realize. So, regular upgrade planner, it would not stop the materials. And I don't like that this one does seem to stop everything if it hasn't been upgraded. I just like, why? Why was that decision made? I don't like it. Uh, I think it's really weird. Like, doesn't make any sense to me. Let's get some belts and let's get a few undergrounds for these as well. Okay, anything else? I think we're pretty good. Be half a stack of these. Okay, yep. 
Okay. Advanced RoboPort finished. Good. Okay, so we're finally uh, into making new science now. Uh, hmm. Do we need Military 3? Probably. Maybe. Maybe not. Actually, maybe not. We don't really need much of those. Oh, we do need the Spidertron. So, yes, we do need this. Definitely need that. Uh, KI2 technology. Let's go with that. Nuclear power. Yes, please. That could be fun. Highly advanced purification. We'll try that. And then we have... I don't remember if we're making purple science or not, are we? I'm like, I forgot because I, I've been playing on the... Uh, our Factorio... We have a Factorio server, by the way, courtesy of Ms. Matrix. And with that, she has she's set it up and we're playing a map and we just got to purple science. Uh, when I was playing last. So I think it's further advanced now because it goes pretty quick. But um, in general, uh, yeah, but I think we actually do not in this map. So we're going to have to... Oh, we definitely don't. <laughs> there it is. There it is. Hooray. Advanced uranium processing. Okay. Um, I think we'll stay with these for now. I want to figure out these cubes as well. That sounds fun. How do you make a cube thing? A red cubey thing. Excuse me. Go away. Why does escape not close this menu? What is that about? I don't get that. Escape should close every menu. Um, red cubes. Where are those? They should be here somewhere, you would think. I don't know what they're called. And I don't know where they're at. No clue. No clue. I don't see anything that looks like a red cube. Maybe we can't make them yet. Uh, all right, so there we are. We are doing things. We now have the ability to actually feed these things. I wish that that would not, because like they haven't been picked up yet. Why are they paused? I don't get it. I just don't get it. It doesn't need to be paused. Okay, so let's see. We need, we would love to have better Productivity, I think. Can we? Do we have better modules? Not yet. I. All right. Okay. Fine. 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 Not working the way we want it to. That's okay. We are doing something. Okay. So we do have this neodymium, which is great. Uh, and that we're gonna get to the flying robot frames. But I think that's going to be a project for another day because we are really close to a time where YouTube is like, you know, that's enough minutes. So, um, and I think people kind of like are used to the 45 minutes to an hour format, especially if the cat is chatting. So anyway, thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other, and I'll see you next time.